I'm coming back to talk and just doing some pull-ups and then see ya. Whenever I have uh, the opportunity to come here to the park, I always like it because uh, I relax my mind and even if I train and I do some weight lifting uh, in some cases, in this case these were just uh, pull-ups, I feel free because I'm in the middle of uh, a park, it's not nowhere because there are some streets nearby but it's still rejuvenating, I like it because my mind feels free and I tend to release all of my burdens that uh, of course uh, we people accumulate in our own lives and uh, that leads to stress and the release of cortisol for example so there are some hormones in our body that are released during exercise but not just during exercise because that's just physiological they these hormones, for example, like cortisol, are released uh, when we are stressed and it means mentally stressed. So, for example, if you go to work and you have to drive in the traffic, that's going to be detrimental for your mind because you can, uh, of course, uh, be subjected to situations where uh, you feel uh, a little angry and in some other cases you have mixed feelings you might be bothered and you might be annoyed and this also happens when you talk to people when you talk to certain people and during our everyday life of course everybody's different but during our everyday, everyday life we are subjected to stress situations and it's very important to be able to understand one's own feelings I tend to be inspired by a Canadian psychologist and he's also a doctor, his name is Mate Gabor he is of uh, Hungarian origin, Hungarian extraction but he had migrated with his family after uh, the Second World War and in particular after the Hungarian Revolution he had migrated to Canada with his family and he has become very famous and uh, he has studied the relation between stress and uh, addictions and uh, how our feelings and our quote-unquote let's call it soul uh, can affect our health and also if in the future we can develop some certain certain addictions let's say but uh, I tend to be inspired uh, whatever your opinion on that might be I tend to be inspired by this kind of uh, work made by psychologists and even other people because my camera is about to fall down, hopefully not but anyway, as I said, I tend to be inspired by this kind of work because I see it as an important part of my life whenever I tend to be more relaxed if I sleep well if I train well if I eat well well I see that my mind works better and I have seen it occur in other people as well so that's why my view is very important and it's not a mystery it's not a secret but whenever we are uh, taken by our daily life that might be hectic that might be annoying that might be stressful we don't even realize that we are uh, building up some tension in ourselves and uh, if we are not rested enough, uh, if we are stressed out our minds 
tend to work uh, less efficiently as well. So we are more tired, our reasoning is becoming more slower in those occasions, and so on. So I just wanted to highlight that because uh, it is something that deep inside we might know, but uh, we do not, we might not do some actions in such a way to relieve our uh, minds and also our bodies. So our body is very well connected to our, our inner self. It is connected to our feelings, it is connected to our minds. So mind and body, they say, right? So these are not two separate entities, just like Mate Gabor says, but they are very well connected and intertwined. So I wanted to highlight that because even if you spend one day at the park you realize you realize that uh, uh, i mean your tensions can come towards the surface and you are able to realize that there is something occurring in your life that you need to amend that you need to correct e even if you just recognize that you have a problem that is going to relieve some of the tension and i'm talking a little bit abstractly here but this is also related to the way in which your body produces hormones. So if you realize that you have a problem, and of course we all have problems, right, in our life, everybody is different and you, and you cannot make any generalization here. But if you realize you have a problem and you find the time to acknowledge that there is a problem and even what the problem is, that's going to take a lot of the strain away from uh, those situations and also from your body. You're able to relax, you're able to see clearly, and that's it. On the other hand, I also wanted to tell you that uh, when I was younger, I was still a teenager back, back at a time, and uh, I knew these kind of things, I thought I knew, but actually I fell into a situation where I wanted to train every day, I wanted to eat properly, I wanted to sleep very well, so sometimes I even avoided some social situations simply because I wanted to eat properly, I wanted to, to, uh, to sleep properly and I didn't even realize that I, wanted, I was putting too much stress on my body. Even if you train every day, that's going to be counterproductive, it can be because your body needs time to rest as well. So rest is part of uh, this whole situation where you need to keep your life in balance. So life is about balance. You cannot overdo it, both in one way or in the other. So if you train too much, that's going to be as detrimental or even more detrimental than if you don't train at all and if you don't pay too much attention to your life. Because if you don't pay much attention to your life, maybe you, you are a little bit relieved of the stress that might occur if you think about it too much, if you think about training too much, if you think about eating too much. In particular, I was actually thinking about eating uh, obsessively. So if you try to be obsessive with uh, what you need to do to optimize your health, that's, I mean, that can also be detrimental. Because you don't realize that you're putting your life, and in particular your body, in a, a very stressful situation. So I wanted to highlight that. So this is a very short video where I'm at the park showing you what uh, maybe can help you think more um, satisfactory, more efficiently. And maybe you already do it and you don't, need, you, you don't need any advice. And this is not any kind of advice because I'm being very general without uh, looking at the specific situation. Every one of us has their own specific situations which uh, contain different factors, different variables, different environments, different health situations, of, unfortunately. So not everybody is uh, lucky because some people are more biased and they can get ill more easily. But from my personal experience, I can say that if you acknowledge your problems, if uh, you are willing to accept even your pains and your suffering and that sometimes can take a toll away from your body and you are able to see more clearly and that's going to relieve you 
from pain, from uh, some burdens in your life. You, you are not going to solve every type of problem you're in your life. It's not like a magic wand that you can use to solve a problem. It's not like that, unfortunately, because some people are less lucky than others and they can get ill for genetic reasons and others, unfortunately, that happens. So, we are all different, but I'm just trying to highlight what we can do, what's in our hands, what are the weapons in our hands, quote-unquote weapons, that we can use to optimize our life. Now comes another set, so I'm going to call it quits for this video. So most people think that pushing harder makes you stronger, but uh, I have learned the hard way, and it's not just about muscles, your nervous system can burn out too. And when you train, your body releases endorphins, uh, those amazing feel-good chemicals that uh, lift your mood and clear your mind. And here's the catch. If you push too far, cortisol, the stress hormone, takes over. And short uh, bursts of cortisol are fine. They help you focus. But when it stays high for too long, your mood drops and your sleep suffers and even your body starts to rebel. And this is where balance comes in. The Canadian doctor Mate Gaber often talks about how stress, emotional or physical, shows up in the body. And if you ignore the signals, your system stays locked in survival mode. And that's when training becomes punishment, not growth. The brain works best when it's not uh, constantly fighting fear or exhaustion. When you train smart, you get the endorphin boost, your thinking sharpens and your body recovers. When you overtrain, you just fry your circuits. And I've been there. So work hard, but listen to your body. And real strength is, is not just about how many pull-ups you can do. It's about how well your body and your mind stay in sync. In the past, I also used to be stronger. Now I am in my 30s, but when I was in my 20s or even in my teens, well, there has been a time where I've been stronger, I have been more muscular, I used to pay more attention to my eating habits as well, but now, actually, I feel better because even if I, I am a little less muscular, I tend to be a little less strict on my diet, I try to eat on social occasions as well with my friends, with my wife, and so on. So, as I said, one of the most important words that I've used here is uh, balance. It's not easy because everyone has to find their own balance in their life. And my balance can be different from the balance of somebody else. If you have studied some mathematics, you know that if you want to find the optimum, if, for example, you have a system of equations and some constraints, you can calculate the optimum based on the constraints. So there's just uh, some intuition behind it. And that's how I like to reason on my life. You cannot find the best uh, solution to everything. Sometimes you have to find a compromise. And it doesn't mean that you have to accept everything. You have to accept uh, even the bad things and so on. You have to try to improve. But even when you try to improve, you have to be careful and pay attention and listen to your body so that you can improve in a smart way. By the way, you don't have to go to the gym to do sports. This is an example of me having fun with a ball. So I also had other passions, not just the gym, and you can as well. 